Hello and welcome to Solving Problems That Involve Large Numbers. This is Chapter 2, Lesson 3 from the Nelson Math Focus textbook. I'm Mr. Burko and this is my MathCast. Our goal today is to solve problems and check solutions by estimating. We are in a unit that uh, deals with very large numbers, of course, and uh, we're continuing from where we left off in the last lesson. How can you estimate to check Eric's answer? Eric has a problem that he would like to solve. He's got a Calgary phone book and he wants to know the number of people that are listed in this book. He counted all the names on one page and obviously he's not going to count all the names in the whole book, but he figures that if he knows all of the names on one page, it's a good estimate for the average number of names on every page. So he takes 486 as his uh, names of what probably is on close to every page and he sees that there are 932 pages in total so he multiplies with his calculator 486 times 932 he gets this number here 452,952 now the question is how can we do this by estimation to check whether Eric's answer is actually correct or close to correct so Waleed takes a crack at it. Waleed decides that 486 is close to 500 and 932 is close to 900. So what he's doing is he's rounding. In this case he rounds up, in this case he rounds down, and he's rounding to the nearest 100. He's going to multiply 500 times 900s. Why doesn't he call this 900? He calls it 900s because then he can multiply the 9 times the 5 a little easier, add two zeros, but he's got to remember that it's not 4,500 or 4,500 that is his final answer. His final answer still needs to be determined, and you can use a place value chart to help you do that. Since it's 4,500 hundreds, he's going to put the hundreds here. So if it were a hundred, it would have two zeros. He, put, he drops those zeros here in the uh, ones period. And then he writes his answer, 4,500. And it turns out that his final answer is actually 450,000. And 450,000 is close to our original answer on the calculator. So we see that Eric's answer is quite reasonable. Martin also takes a different approach and he decides to check the same question and uh, he finds that 932 is about 1000 and so he's rounding up in this case and he decides to multiply 486 by 1000. This is an easy thing to do because 1000 is just a bunch of zeros so what he's doing is 486 times 1 right with three zeros on the end of that. So 486 times one is easy enough. It's 486 and you tack on those three zeros at the end and you have your answer, 486,000. And that seems reasonable enough. It's a bit more than 452,952, but it's close enough to tell us that, yeah, our, our estimate is, is pretty close. Tara also takes a different approach than the other boys do. Uh, she checks the uh, question that Eric had done on his calculator and she rounds them both up from uh, 486 to 500, from 932 to 1000. And so she's going to multiply this nice round number and she's going to use her place value chart. So she starts with 500, she plunks it down here in the ones period. And uh, you don't need to worry about the zeros right now because we can just assume that it's zeros. And what she knows is that she's multiplying times a thousand. Each one of these periods basically that's multiplying by a thousand. So if she multiplies a number by a thousand, she moves it over three spots. Three zeros, one for each zero three spots up. Same as multiplying by 1000. You can plunk those zeros down to the end there and uh, you find that 500,000 is indeed about 452,952. It's your turn. I want you to pause the presentation and I want you to answer question A and B. I'm not going to tell you the answer during this podcast. I would like you to just reflect on these and see um, what you think for question A and question B. Thanks for joining me. I found out today that uh, I guess we don't get our phone books this year. We're only getting yellow pages, so you can't try this experiment at home. You'll have to find last year's phone book. That's kind of interesting, but thank you for joining me uh, for my MathCast.